Nigel Farage laid the foundations for a second political earthquake today when he said he has changed his mind on holding a second Brexit referendum. Speaking on Channel 5's The Right Stuff this morning, the former UK pleader said he wanted to put any doubt over the issue to bed and kill the issue for a generation. The former UK pleader is seen as the architect of Brexit and has slammed those who want to give the electorate another vote including high-profile campaigners like Nick Clegg, Tony Blair, and Lord Adonis. In a shock announcement Farage said, My mind is actually changing on this. Just maybe I'm reaching the point of thinking that we should have a second referendum on EU membership. I think if we had a second referendum on EU membership we'd kill it off for a generation. The percentage that would vote to leave next time would be very much bigger than it was last time round. And his message was welcomed by anti-Brexit campaigners, including Lord Malik Brown, who chairs Best for Britain, who said, a second referendum, my message is clear bring it on. While Lord Adonis tweeted. Prominent Labour Remain MP Chuka Amana said Farage had a valid point but did not say he supported the idea of a second referendum. The MP, who is a member of Open Britain, said, for perhaps the first time in his life, Nigel Farage is making a valid point. In a democracy like ours, the British people have every right to keep an open mind about Brexit. If the Brexit that is delivered does not match up to the promises of leave campaigners, with no sign of unpound, 350 million extra per week for the NHS but a whopping great divorce bill of unpound, 39 billion, then everyone is entitled to ask if this is the right choice for our country. Liberal Democrat Brexit spokesperson Tom Brake said, Support is now growing on both sides of the argument for a vote on the final deal with the choice of an exit from Brexit. In any future referendum, Liberal Democrats will be leading the charge against Nigel Farage to keep Britain in the EU. But Farage shouldn't be so confident of winning, people are now far more aware of the costs of Brexit and the fabrications of the Leave campaign. Instead of the promised and pound, 350 meters for the NHS, living standards are in free fall and the health service is in crisis. What will the Leave campaign boss have written on it next time, let's not fund our NHS, but pay a and pound, 39 bn Brexit divorce bill instead? But the Prime Minister's official spokesman rejected Nigel Farage's suggestion saying, we will not be having a second referendum. Farage, who has been scathing in his attacks on so-called dream owners, said a second referendum would be a way of silencing the high-profile critics of Brexit. He said, what is for certain is that the Cleggs, the Blairs, the Adnizes will never, ever, ever give up. They will go on whinging and whining and moaning all the way through this process. 13 Unforgettable Moments from Nigel Farage's Career as UK Pleader But before the poll the former UK pleader said there would have to be a second vote if Remain won by 52-48. He said, in a 52-48 referendum this would be unfinished business by a long way. If the Remain campaign win two-thirds to one-third that ends it. His prediction came true down to every detail except the leave and remain votes were swapped round. Lord Malik Brown said the removal of doubt was necessary, this is something that the country needs. Every day we see the disaster of Brexit as we see its impact on our economy, jobs, communities and our society. 